Hi, welcome to Solid Edge 2020 video tutorial. Today I want to do the planetary gear assembly in Solid Edge. Similar to Invento and SolidWorks, you can use extrude surfaces to define those gear mates or constraints because Solid Edge will calculate the correct ratio or you can just type in the ratio of those gears one to another. Let's see if we can move these elements. Let's here. Yeah, drag it very slowly. I'll try it here with this one. Yeah, looks good. Okay. So let's have fun with Solid Edge. So let's insert our first component, and that would be the ring gear. As it is the first one, it will be grounded. No need to ground it yourself. Let's bring in the carrier 01, and I want to align it axis by axis. So go for axial alignment with this one and that one. And of course I want to align it planar as well. So this surface here and that surface should be aligned. But I have to flip it. Let's bring in our assembly relation manager and that would be that planar constraint and I want to flip it. This, this fixes that problem. Now I need three planet gears. So let's bring in one. Go for the axial alignment. That would be this axis here to one of these. Maybe this one. Right click. Then go for a planar one. So this surface and that surface here. And I might have to flip it. Yes, I have. So go for flip. Right click. And right click. Bring in another one. Same procedure. Go for Excel alignment and then go for a planner one on the surface and that surface here and again flip it right click right click and a third one not this one sorry Let's undo that. I need another one here, okay. So go for actual alignment to this axis here. And then go for a planner one, this surface to that surface. And again, I have to flip it. And sorry, I've missed it. So let's bring back our relation manager and that should be the last planner one. So that would be this one. Go for a simple relation manager and that's the planner one and that should be flipped. Okay, now add gear constraints. This one here, go for gear. From this surface here to this one. That's not the correct one, neither of these, but it will work. So go for ratio 1 to 2. And I think, so this will stay 
that rotates in this direction, that rotates in that direction. So this has to be flipped. And right click, right click, next one from this one to that surface here. And again, one to two. And again, flip, right click, right click from the surface to that surface here and again one to two and again flip it right click right click and let's see if that is okay so go for drag component just confirm and let's drag this one yeah that one this one maybe drag it over here and hide that ring gear. So let's drag it here. No, oh, that one's wrong. So escape and select this one. Go for the relations and that gear should be flipped close let's take a look if it works yeah confirm yeah that's okay nice Let's bring in carrier two and it should be aligned axial with that axis to this axis here. Right click and of course a planner one, this surface to that surface here and again I have to flip it right click right click and okay now I need three more planet gears so again go for axial this axis here maybe to that one right click and surface to surface that would be planner on this surface to that surface and again flip it right click right click bring in another one go for axial this one to maybe this one and then go for a planner one on the surface to that surface and again flip it right click right click and the last one axial align this axis to that one and then a planner one from the surface to that surface and again flip it and right click right click okay I need a gear constrained from one of these to this one so let's go for a gear and it should be from one of these surfaces to this one that's not the right one I know but I will change the ratio it should be 1 to 2 so that's the big one that should be 1 and this should be 2 let's take a look at the arrows 
So if this one rotates in that direction, this one should turn in this direction. So let's flip this and right click and check it out if it works. So go for drag component. Yeah, no, let's drag this one. So it rotates in the same direction as the other one. That's really hard to see. Let's try it here. So this turns in the same direction. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Now I need three more gear relations between the ring gear and those three planet gears. So let's go for gear constraint between this one and that one and the ratio should be one to two and let's take a look if this rotates that direction which means this goes in this direction this one should rotate in that direction this seems to be okay so right click go for another one from this one to that one. Again, it should be one to two. Right click, right click. And the last one from this one to that one. And again, one to two. Maybe I have to flip them all, but we will see. Let's check it out. Maybe hide the ring gear and go for drag component. Yeah, I know. Let's drag this one and see if those rotate in the correct direction. No, they're all in the wrong direction, so I have to flip them all. So let's select those three, go to the assembly relation manager and go to the gears. Select them all, if possible, and flip them. Close. Let's check it, if it works. Go for drag component and see, drag it right here. Yes, this looks okay. Great. Now I need the sun gear. So bring in the sun gear. Go for axis. And that would be this axis to that axis here. Right click, right click, and then go for yeah a planar constraint. That's not this one. Mate, that's the planar align. So this surface to that surface, and of course I have to flip it. Right click, right click. Then I need another gear constraint, which should go from one of these to that one. So if this turns this way, it should turn that way. So we have to flip it once more and ratio again one to two. No, caps lock is on, two. That's it, and okay. Let's check it out, go for drag component, and okay, and let's drag it here and see if this turns the correct way. Yes, it does, and I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my case Facebook cat fan page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get my likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.